hit record. So um, welcome everyone to our uh, first of many coaching calls. And I want to thank Frida for jumping on and doing this with me. So we're basically going to go over the program and answer any questions that anyone might have. We're going to talk about shake days, cleanse days, food list, um, maintenance. We'll talk about some products. We'll talk about the belly buster, even the performance line. So if you need to grab a pen and paper, now is the time to do it. So when your client receives their box, it is our responsibility to not just send them a welcome email and add them to the Facebook group, but it's our responsibility to go over that box, right? That's why the program is not sold in stores. It is sold through a friend. So you can support them and assist them in having the results. So once someone receives their box, um, the first thing I do is have them take out all the products. And I basically start from step one. Every morning you're gonna wake up and you're gonna have one ounce of Ionic Supreme, right? Most of us get the liquid. If you ask me what's an ounce, I would say if you don't have a measuring cup, it's about a tablespoon or a shot glass, and that's the Ionics. Then you wait about 30 minutes to an hour before having your first shake. If you have a canister, you're gonna have two scoops up to the line. If you have the packets, it's one entire packet. Now I tell people that it is approximately 10 ounces of water. However, some people like it a little thinner, you can add more water. Some people like it thicker, you can add ice. There's no right or wrong way to make it. You can shake it, you can blend it, you can have cold water, you can have lukewarm water. The important thing about the shake is to drink it within the first five to 10 minutes of making it because that's when those digestive enzymes are live and active with your breakfast shake, and you can mix half chocolate, half strawberry, you can sprinkle a little cinnamon in there. We just ask you not to put some fruits or peanut butter or other stuff, because we don't want you to change the chemical makeup. We don't want you to change the sugars, the calories, especially in the beginning. In the beginning, everyone's gonna say, I don't love it. It tastes a little off. I'm not used to it. And what I tell you is to give it one honest week because I promise you it gets better and better and better as your taste buds change. So with your breakfast shake, you're going to have one accelerator capsule. That is an apple cider vinegar pill infused with cayenne pepper to naturally rev up your metabolism. It doesn't have any speed. It doesn't have any ephedra. So you don't have to be worried about taking the accelerator. If you have a heart condition, certainly you can omit it but consult with your doctor always. We don't give medical advice. I'm not a doctor. We don't prescribe anything. We don't make medical assessments or recommendations. That's very important for us to remember. The next thing I would tell my client is you should be eating every two and a half to three hours, right? Because you have to fuel the furnace. You have to keep feeding your body. So after your breakfast shake and accelerator, you're going to have a 100 calorie snack. After your 100 calorie snack, you're gonna have a shake for lunch. Now, if you're gonna have a shake for lunch, you're gonna have a meal for dinner. If you have your meal for lunch, you're gonna have your shake for dinner. After your lunch, two to three hours later, you're gonna have another 100 calorie snack, followed by your four to 600 calorie meal, and then you're gonna have another accelerator with your dinner, or in the afternoon, doesn't necessarily have to be with your dinner. And then before bed, you're gonna take two isoflush pills. That's a fiber magnesium pill to help keep you regular. Now what I want you guys to know that it's, it's not that serious. Some people can't eat a whole 600 calorie meal. If you wanna break your meal in two, it's no problem. As long as you're having two shakes, two snacks, and a healthy meal, as long as you're eating every two and a half to three hours, that's the important stuff. Don't worry about the, the small logistics. Oh my God, I forgot an accelerator. It's okay, you're human. One little mistake won't make or break the program. That's what I want you to know. You're doing your, the best you can and every step forward is a step in the right direction. So if I can offer you four very important tips that I think will be helpful. Print the food list that your coach emailed you. Print that food list and the snack list. 
Um, number two, follow the schedule. Shake, snack, shake, snack, healthy meal, ionics early morning, flush before bed, and two accelerators. The closer you stick with the schedule, the better you'll do. Um, and pre-plan. It's important to pre-plan. I always keep an ice of delight or a bar in my pocketbook because here's the thing. When we're unprepared and when we get stuck, that's when we get into trouble. That's when we see a 7-Eleven or that's when, you know, even if you keep like some hard boiled eggs at the office or some hundred calorie packs of almonds, preparation is key folks. That's the most important thing. So even think about your day the, the night before. Um, the third most important thing that I can tell you is often people miscalculate what their 100 calorie snack is and what their four to 600 calorie meal is. You're either gonna eat too little or you're gonna eat too much. I had a girl tell me she was eating an avocado for a snack. I said a whole avocado, that's about 300. I mean, we just, we don't know. But the beautiful thing is, is that there's so many free apps that you can use on your computer or on your cell phone. My favorite is called My Fitness Pal. And that's one word, my fitness pal. And it's so easy. It literally has every single Isogenics product in there. So I log in my Isoline shake, and then I would put in a green apple and a, and a scoop of almond butter. And I would see that that's about 120 calories. So I would know that my next, cal my next snack should be about 80. It's not about perfection. It's about gauging and counting and preparing and doing the best you can. And the next important tip that I can share with you is you have to, have to. If for weight loss, if you are in this to lose weight, you gotta get down the 128 ounces of water. And I know for most of us, the water can be quite difficult. So what I would recommend is to get a 32 ounce bottle right? Because it's very hard to remember 16 cups. Get a 32 ounce bottle and fill it up four times. Some people use the rubber band trick. They put four rubber bands around their wrist. I know Christine does that. And every time she has a bottle, she takes a rubber band and puts it on her other wrist, right? It's just a little simple tricks. There's also apps on the cell phone that help you uh, count the, the water. It's called Water Logged. So a really cute, helpful app. As far as the water, you can, yeah, good job, Christine. <laughs> as far as the um, water, you can flavor it with lemon, with cucumber, with ginger, with mint leaves. You can infuse the water with anything you want as long as you're gonna get it down. My favorite way to infuse it is to use the Amped Hydrate. Amped Hydrate is in your back office. It's under our performance line. And what that is, is the, the best way I can describe it is it tastes like Crystal Light, but it has the benefits of Gatorade without all the artificial colors and sugars and garbage. So what I do is I take out a stick of the Amped Hydrate and I say, okay, one bottle I'm going to drink straight. The other one, I'll put half a stick. My third bottle, I'll drink straight water. The fourth bottle, I'll drink uh, straight up. And you have to. you got to negotiate with yourself, right? you got to make these little um, challenges for yourself. But an average day should be approximately 1,280 calories. So I'll talk a little bit about the food list before I pass it over to Frida, who's going to discuss the cleanse days. Um, We've got a great food list, and this is really for only for our team that has this. Most people just get the box and get the isogenic suggestions. Um, so here's our food list. Stick with lean meats, right? Not so much because the red meats and pork and stuff is high in fat, but they're also very acidic. And the whole premise of the program is to get the acidity level down, get your body more alkaline and more pH balanced so you can detox, so you can get rid of that excess weight. So stick with lean meats, chicken, fish, turkey, shrimp, seafood. If you have a vegan or a vegetarian, I tell them, well, what, what did you used to eat? Stick with the things that you ate just incorporate the isogenics, right? I don't want to change someone's life. I want to help make it easier. And all isogenics does is it provides two delicious, healthy, full balanced meals for that person. Um, so uh, lean meats. 
any vegetable except corn, peas, and carrots because they're genetically modified, they're high in sugar. So you can make a nice salad, you can use beans. Watch the beans, try to get bagged, always go for organic. Watch the sodium level, watch the preservatives. That's really what we're looking for. As far as fruits, stick with green apples, stick with green pears, uh, even berries because they're low in sugar. If you count a cup of berries, blueberries, that can most certainly count as your 100 calorie snack. And then as far as carbohydrates, I mean, how many of us love carbs? <laughs> the beauty of this program is, is that you don't have to give up carbs. What I tell everyone is you're cutting the chemicals and the crap out and you're putting the good nutrients back in. So if you love bread, switch to a sprouted whole grain bread like Ezekiel. They have great English muffins. Um, if you love pasta, chickpea pasta, black bean pasta, whole grain pasta, uh, buckwheat, quinoa. Stick with things that are not white, wheat, or processed. That's really important because all that stuff turns into sugar. It's, it's not good. It's not healthy. You're not going to lose that weight. And what we really want you to do, you know, people often say is, you know, am I going to eat like this forever? Well, hopefully, yes. That's what Isogenics is about. It's about putting the best products in your body, simplifying your life, and teaching people how to eat clean. She found edamame noodles. There's a great website, ladies. There's a, a website called vitacost.com. Even Google if you search whole grain. But I want you to be smart because a lot of these uh, big brand companies, they're very sneaky. They will say 100% whole grain. You look at the ingredients and the first ingredient is wheat. So I often give the example that I still eat spaghetti and meatballs, but I eat whole grain pasta. I have ground turkey. Instead of buying a can of ragu sauce that has 460 milligrams of sodium and dozens of ingredients that I cannot pronounce, I go for things with one or two ingredients, red pack, fresh crushed tomatoes, where the only ingredient is organic tomatoes and water. Search for, you have to be diligent when it comes to your own health. So what I would advise is don't worry about the calories. Start looking at the chemicals. Read the labels. If it's got a bunch of stuff that you can't pronounce, don't have it. If it didn't grow from a tree, if it didn't have parents, you know, omit it. Omit it. This is what we're trying to teach is how to eat healthy, clean, and natural. So the food list is a great takeaway. There's a great Trader Joe's shopping list in our group. And a snack is anything that is 100 calories that's permitted on that list. Very simple, very easy. And the ladies in the group have put together a beautiful snack list of ideas from hummus to deviled eggs with you know, um, um, avocado in there. You know, and Here's the great thing about our group is that if you use the little search bar and you type in any ingredient, shrimp, seafood alfredo, whatever you put in, you're going to find a dozen recipe ideas. So if you're in the mood for a pizza, type in pizza at our group. You'll find ways to make a cauliflower pizza that's healthy. So we don't want you not to enjoy food. We just want you to go from French fries to sweet potato fries. We just want you to live a healthier lifestyle because let's face it, it's not just about weight loss. It's about being on God's green earth, healthy and vibrant and full of energy for years and years to come. So that is a shake day. I'm going to pass it over to Frida, who's going to share with us how to do a cleanse day. Hi, thanks. So um, cleanse days are probably the most frightening things for a new cleanser to start. They think, oh my goodness, I'm not eating. I'm going to die. What am I going to do? I need to chew my food. So you're going to hear everything. And it's your job as a coach to literally solidify the fact that they can and they will, and they're going to survive. For me, I absolutely love cleanses. I love the cleanse juice. It's my favorite thing. So when I decide to cleanse, I'm like, yes, you know, but um, I do make sure that when the, 
my clients get their, their products. I kind of put the cleanse products to the side and let them worry about their first five shake days before I start talking about the cleanse because I feel like for the first week, there's so much going on inside and outside of their head that they're like focusing on the cleanse instead of focusing on the first five days of what they're going through, which is an, an amazing thing that they're doing already. So what I do is I make sure I send them depending on the type of cleanser that they are, and I, you know your, your, your people, and you need to kind of know the job that they might be having as well so that you know how to schedule them. You know, um, I send them two kind of schedules. One is a strict schedule, and one is kind of, this is what you have to do throughout the day, whatever way you choose to do it, just get it done. You have this many ices of lights, this many um, snacks, um, this many times you need to take your cleanse juice and figure it out whatever way you need. Just this is by the end of the day, this needs to be consumed. And then you have some people who are very rigid and they're like, what am I doing at seven o'clock? What am I doing at eight o'clock? So there's a lot of different things you can actually set them up with. And that's really getting to know the people who you're coaching to know what their life is like. So they're not calling you up at like 10 o'clock going, I'm done when you could have helped them out a little bit more. So and the number one thing about the cleanse is it's four times a day, four ounces, six to eight ounces of water with or without ice. I'm a big ice lover. I, it, I feel like it drags it out a little bit longer. Unlike the shake, it doesn't need to be consumed within the 25 minutes, so they can kind of sip it a little bit more. Um, a lot of them are going to say, what about tea and coffee? It's not their water intake, and there's going to be a lot of liquid consumed that day. And I try to tell them, I feel like on my cleanse days, I have a lot of energy. So I tell them, you know, if you're doing your e-shots, the, the decaffeinated tea or the coffee, which, you know, the isogenics one has the least acidic one, it's the best. Um, you can definitely um, have it, just have it early in the morning so that you don't think it's part of your water intake. Um, they stay on their ionics. It is their mojo juice. I keep them on it. They have it the first thing they wake up. It's a routine thing. The first thing you do, you have your ionics no matter what day of the week it is. Um, then if it's in the liquid form, I tell them to keep it in the refrigerator. I, I'm actually not even sure if you have to. I think when you open it, Angela, do you have to put it in the fridge? <laughs> Uh, I, I don't. I mean, we don't live in such a hot environment. Oh, really? I like it cold. So I guess it's a preference yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, so unless they have the powder form, then it's two scoops. And um, I tell them, wait a little bit, let that go, and then have your natural accelerator. Um, again, they're going to call you up sometimes and go, oh, my God, I forgot my natural accelerator. It's not the end of anything. Um, and then I have them kind of put little things in baggies so that they are set up already with their ice of delight and then natural accelerated and their snacks together so that it's kind of prepackaged for them. It's not all mumbo jumbo and they don't know when to do it. Just little tricks to kind of get them organized in it or sometimes they're just putting it all together or they're carrying the natural accelerator bottles with them, you know. So it's four to six ice of delights sticking closer to the four side, but I always tell them keep one in your bag just in case you feel like you're done. Pop another one in if you have to. Um, and then they're going to tell you about the ISIS snacks. It's a preference thing sometimes, but it's a non-negotiable on cleanse days. It is going to help you keep your energy levels up. It's going to keep your hunger peaks down. And, you know, I tell people, suck them instead of chewing them. Some people love to just chew them all day. It all depends how they are. And if they call you up saying, I can't stand the taste of this, just figure out, you know, maybe you should suck them, maybe you should chew them. And there's different flavors. Sometimes people really tell me that, oh, I love chocolate, only chocolate, only chocolate, but they love the vanilla ones more than anything else. And I'm one of those people. So you could just gotta kind of help them out with that because that's the most, I feel like that's the biggest complaints I've ever gotten was those Scooby snacks as they call them, but they really are non-negotiables. I don't care how they get them down, chew them, suck them, swallow them down, they gotta go down. Um, you're going to stay on your ISO flush, and I always get people say, but I didn't need anything today. What do I need my ISO flush for? It stays the same. It's the same consistent um, habit that you have, 
and it still helps with the purpose. So you still stay on those at the end of the day. I tell people to go to bed early, take a shower, stay busy. Um, I try to tell people when they're doing cleanse days not to make it on the day that they're going to be sitting home with the kids and everyone's eating around you. Try not to cook your, your family's favorite meal on that day. So you start picking, oh, I can have a nibble. I can have a nibble. You can't have a nibble. <laughs> stay the course. Stay busy. Take a hot shower. Take a hot bath. Wear a little sweater because your body does get a little chilly. Um, so I tell people to always keep a little sweater if they're at work with them, even in the summer, because um, that was me. You're still taking your AM vitamins in the pack that they come. For me, they're the best things. They're already prepackaged, and they're still taking the vitamins in the PM um, to keep them on the same schedule. And um, it's a, and the number one thing is the weight thins. You can have your bag of weight thins and eat a few at a time, and it is the bee's knees because it comes in the three different flavors of barbecue, sour cream, and the newest cheddar, which is to die for. Um, I keep them in my bag all day long. My kids eat them, especially in cleanse days when you need them and they're missing. It's a big no-no. Um, so just keep your cleansers scheduled. Find out what their routine is. You could break this literally schedules that you can find that are like for every single hour of the day. Seven o'clock, Ionics. Eight o'clock, um, Cleanse for Life. Nine o'clock, Accelerator. So they're constantly feeling like they're doing something or they could do it morning, mid-morning, lunch, midday. Um, and listen, in all honesty, this is the best thing people are going to say, but I don't understand the purpose. And you really do need to be able to explain why they're cleansing because they don't understand why they're not eating for two days, even though they are. So you have to really make them know that the first day your body's fighting the sugars and the second day it's fighting that visceral fat. And that's what they want. They want that visceral fat, but to get there... They go, I'm going to cleanse for one day. I'm good. I don't need a second day. You have to be able to explain to them why and to just take one day at a time. Otherwise, they're going to jump ship and say, forget it. I'm just going to do my shake days. But we all know how truly important it is for the body to cleanse and to get rid of those toxins to continue to build on to the next shake days. So um, I think that's really all I have for cleanse. Awesome. So very simply, cleanse days, four ounces of cleanse for life, four times a day, six to 10 of the round circular wafers. Very important. Like Frida said, they keep your body in a mild state of ketosis. They keep your blood sugar stabilized. They keep you from being hungry. The four to six ice of delights, which are like Hershey's chocolates. They're heaven and a bag of wafins and the most important, 128 ounces of water. And I love what she said. Know your people because some people you just put it in a bag and you nosh on it all day, whereas other people do much better with a schedule. So either way you, you like it, you know, however you do it, just do it. Um, but I like to tell people, think about it in four hour increments. You know, when you wake up at 8 a.m., are you starving? No. 12 o'clock, you start getting a little hungry, you have a chocolate. Four o'clock, you know, maybe you take a warm bath. Eight o'clock, you have a couple chocolates and you call it an early night. You can have Isogenics coffee, like Frida said, black. You can have herbal tea on cleanse days, which I love. Um, so keep it simple. We also cleanse on day six and seven and 13 and 14 of the program because it's been established that if you wait five days, you have an easier cleanse. Your body's gotten a little less acidic. It's gotten a little bit more used to the program and you just do better as opposed to doing it on day three. You have people who are um, diabetics they can cleanse one day, but they have to incorporate a green apple, check their sugar often, consult with a doctor. Um, there are some people who don't cleanse and instead they do um, a couple ounces of the cleanse for life every night just to get some of the benefits. Some people choose to cleanse one day a week, every week, because they simply can't do two days. There's no right or wrong way to do it, and you don't have to beat yourself up about it and feel badly if you can't do a full two-day cleanse. So I think you did an awesome job, Frida. I, I wanted to um, jump in right here and do a little screen share. Frida, can you see my screen? I absolutely can of the girls. Okay, great. So I wanted to show you guys um, some of my favorite snacks. So here's, here's my Isogenics account. And if you go under orders and if you hit place your order and if you click on US, 
you will be able to go to snacks and mini meals. So these are the dairy-free bars. There's currently a promotion that's gonna start tomorrow. If you buy one, you get one free. So on the dairy-free bars, we have coconut, we have peanut butter, and we have berry. Really good, and I'm so happy that they're dairy-free and vegan because they offer people more options. Then we have the whey thins. That's what Frida was talking about. Not only can you have one bag on cleanse days, but it comes 10 in a bag. So I tell people, think about getting one or two boxes because you'll need four bags for your cleanse days. But it's also nice to have these in your pocketbook for a healthy 100 calorie snack. It doesn't get any easier for me than to have portable convenient snacks. I mean, let's face the facts, I can't eat a green apple and almonds every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> so sometimes when my husband's in bed watching a movie and he's snacking, I want to snack on something too. My favorite is the barbecue. Um, then we have these fiber bars. These are awesome. These are about 150 calories. This is a peanut butter. This is a honey almond. And you can use this for a snack as well. Sometimes you want a little salty, sometimes you need a little sweet. But everything we have is very healthy. Trust that Isogenics really uses the best ingredients. And these are not only for cleanse days, but these 15 calorie snacks, they do help you with your appetite. They feel, they, they fuel your body so you can go a little bit longer. Um, the dairy-free the dairy -free berry, they taste like, what is that candy, Frida? Sweet tarts. Sweet tarts. These taste like sweet tart candies. Um, so then we have the bars. If you have the bars, and I'm so happy, they keep giving us more and more flavors. Oatmeal raisin, peanut butter, um, chocolate decadence, which tastes like a Rice Krispie treat with a chocolate brownie on top. Um, these bars, they replace a shake. But because they don't have the same digestive enzymes as a shake, I would say limit the bar to two to three a week, or you can simply break it in half and use it as one of your 100 calorie snacks. When the kids go to the movies and they are eating those Butterfingers and M&Ms and everything else, I take this, I cut it into little bits, and I bring it to the movies with me. Um, and then the Ice of Delights. These People utilize them for cleanse days, but guess what? Each one is only 50 calories, and you can literally keep them in your bag and have two for a regular snack on shake days. And they introduce the new flavor, milk chocolate. It's literally sea salt and caramel. They're fantastic. And they also have a dark chocolate mint. I know some people enjoy dark chocolate. And then another um, yummy goody one is this cookie. It's a 100 calorie cookie. I just like the ease and the convenience of 100 calorie snacks. And these are great. I give them to my kids as well. Um, so what's your favorite product, Frito? I am a huge lover of the Wayfins because as a teacher, it's just easy for me to grab when the kids are snacking. I kind of have the same thing. Um, I love the hydrate. It's in my water all day long. All my colleagues come and seal it from me all the time and they're putting it in their water. Um, and then I really, uh, I'm a big fan of the bars. Chocolate Decadent is by far my favorite one. I feel like I am very routine from beginning to end for the last three years. <laughs> and then my Ice of Delights, I keep them in my fridge. I like them cold. And you know what? I'm a plain Jane. I do have the sea salt caramel, but I do live on the milk chocolates because I can melt them and put them on like my green apples and I can, you know, yeah. melt them on like the rice, crisp, the rice cakes and stuff. So I do those. But I have all of them. So I really kind of change it up. Yeah, do, you, do your kids love the products? Because I have to tell you, I haven't bought Doritos or Lay's in so long because my girls are nuts about the cheddar and the barbecue chips. So when they're asking for like a little snack, I just give them a bag of those and I feel like they're, well, I know that they're so much healthier. So the crazy thing is I've had people when my son was younger and he didn't gain weight for an entire year, they wanted me to put him on something like Ensure or like one of those quick fatten up kind of things. I don't remember what it was. And I was like, no, I'm going to give him a, I'm going to, I'm going to give him a shake with it. I didn't feel comfortable giving him the chemical crap that they wanted me to give him. 
and he now loves the chocolate. But for the snacks, they probably eat the Icy Delights the most. Yeah. My baby. They, they, they definitely. And now the white cheddar, absolutely. The barbecue is a little bit too much for Alex. Um, Bella likes the sour cream and onion. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I want to see if you guys have um, any questions. I'm going to unmute everyone and uh, I'll let you guys ask away. Just feel free. Hi. Hi. About the product. I all your tweezers. Anything you guys want to ask that maybe we did not cover? Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Fran. How are you? Hi, Fran. Welcome. Thank you. This is my first time using the product, and I love it. And today was my first day of cleansing. Woo. And yeah, and I know I shouldn't have, but I was just so curious. You weighed um, yourself. I did, and I went down nine pounds already. Yeah. Wow. Okay. In six. Yeah. Days. So I was really, 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 very happy. Wait until your underwear start falling off. I can't wait. I can't wait. Can't wait. And I've been in Weight Watchers for so long, and I so long, and I needed a change. I needed a change. You know, so, what? I have been a Weight Watchers girlfriend for about 20 years. And I have to tell you that, you know, I would eat two slices of pizza and I would count 14 points. I would drink a bottle of Diet Pepsi for zero points and I would save room for a cannoli at the end of the day. And isn't that the truth? Isn't that funny? And I would lose a pound a week. I would PMS and I would gain five of it back. And I never, ever in my life felt the way I did on Weight Watchers or Jenny Craig the way I do with Isogenics in terms of... I, I feel even my, I feel so much energized and it's only, I started, I got the product list Thursday. I started Friday, um, like fully regimented, like staying on track, you know, mm -hmm. um, but my co my leader said to me because my first day, I, she said to take. Um, I, I'm just reading of with Facebook and everybody's stating about cleansing, um, on the perfect cleansing. I'm taking. I did one at seven, um, one at eleven, one at three, and one at seven tonight. And for some reason, I mean, the vanillas on the wafers are not my favorite. But I'm full. But I still need to take the full six wafers. Yeah, that's okay. You can have ten. Those wafers are wonderful. They're great. They're like little protein pellets. No, I think she's saying she has six left from the day. Oh, so no, I have right. So down right now. Oh, I got it. Do I? Do I? Do I have to take the full six? I mean, it's late. If you want to have one more before bed, if you're feeling fine. There, there's no have to. You do what works best, you know. Okay. You want to keep your body in a mild state of ketosis. You want to... And she didn't, rec you know, when I had asked her to take the, the flush, she said no. Should I take the flush? It's or no. I tell, I tell my clients to leave off the ionics, the accelerator, and the flush. If you feel That's good, what she told me also. Yeah, if you feel good, leave it off. Sometimes the accelerator... For people who have a sensitive tummy, sometimes that apple cider vinegar pill makes them feel a little funny on cleanse days. I want them to have a great experience. I say just focus on the cleanse and those snacks. And I had a pair, a small organic pair. Okay. The whole, the whole day. And I had three little pieces of chocolates. So I figured, let me just, you know, because the flavor of those wafers are not like my favorite. Mm -hmm. So, and I did order um, the hydrate the orange because I loved it. Wonderful. Now tell so, me, do you feel less bloated? Do you feel more energy, mental clarity? I feel lots of energy. And I'll be honest with you, I was having um, acid reflux that I was seeing a doctor for, plus with the hyaluronic hernia, waking up in the night gagging and taking medication and you name it, I was taking and just waking up. Since I've been doing this five days, thank God, I have not had an acid reflux, an attack. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that, Fran. And thank you for being so courageous and stepping up and sharing your story with us. 
And I have yes. to tell you, it's only going to get better and better and people are going to notice and they're going to ask you what you're doing. You know, just keep helping people. Keep sharing. I, I, that, I, and you know what? I work in a pediatrician. Um, I'm out in Long Island. Um, and, you know, they're like, oh, you're not going to be able to do this. And I'm like, mm -hmm. really? Like the negativity? Because, you know, I want to have one time. Shut them down. Yeah. Right. It's exactly what I'm doing. I'm like, really? Really? So you need to have your coffee. I don't miss the coffee. Um, matter of fact, I, I can't wait to get um, the coffee. I'm going to try this coffee and tea. Like, I want to experiment on yeah. the product. You, you know what's funny, Fran? First, they're going to be, um, you know, questioning why you're doing it then it, give it a month they're going to be asking you how you're doing it they're going to be asking you to help them sign up and get and your coach to help get them started my husband when i ordered the program he said again i said what do you mean again he goes another program you're going to piss more money away that's exactly what he said well, that's he, what my husband said to me too he yeah. said it, that's a lot of money and i said you know what think about it for no exaggeration, for about nine months, I was on Weight Watchers and I would have the automatic taken out of my debit, of my debit card. $45 a month. I said, 45, 45, 45. I said, I'm over $350 here. Right. Well, you know, well, think about it. $3.21 for a shake. I was spending $7 every morning on Dunkin' Donuts on a medium coffee, a bagel, and a water. I mean, right. there's no comparison and you're getting no. top quality products. And you know what? Every, I tell everyone I know it's free or it's free. If you love it, share it with people. You get $150 back. They pay you for your referrals. If you don't like it, pack it up and send it back. You lost right. nothing and you gained everything. You know, it's, my first delivery, I, day six, I was waiting for it. They, someone had stolen it from my porch. So that goes to show you that oh, it's probably God. Not. <laughs> it's Yeah, so they sent it to my job. <laughs> they took it from my porch. So when I had called, you know, the customer service, they said, oh, no, we delivered it at 1015 this morning. Mm -hmm. It's on your porch. I said, no, it's not. And they sent it to my job because I know. So now I'm just having everything sent to my job. Well, so. we are so proud of you, Fran. And, it, you know, it's a nice place for us to gather every week and talk and share stories and hear testimonies. Because in a world full of skeptics and people who are so miserable, it's nice to gather with people who are positive and inspirational and motivational. And I, I, I am so, you know, and I have, you know, I'm cancer free. And it's like, you know, so this is just like, Another journey, another, I call it a, a good journey. Who is your coach, you know? man? I'm sorry? Who is your coach? Um, who's my coach? Jennifer Rodriguez. One. God bless her for having the courage to share, right? So yeah, I mean, I call, I text her. She texts me every day to see how I'm doing. I text her the questions. If I'm not sure, I'll text again. Can you explain it to me? Can you do me a favor and call me when you get a chance? Yeah. And she really, really does. You don't get that kind of attention at Weight Watchers. You pay 10 bucks for a meeting, you show up and you walk out the door and you're on your own. Here, right. you got a support group, you got your coach, you got every key to success. So thank you for sharing, Fran. Is there and it was a pleasure speaking to you. When is your next meeting? We're going to be doing this every Wednesday at 8.30. Okay, great. Yep. Is there All right. Thank you, my dear. Is All there right. Have, have a good evening. You too. You too. Okay. Is there anyone else who would like to share or ask a question before we end the call? Oh, the new people are like, oh, I have a question, but I don't want to say anything. I have a question, but I don't want to say anything. Unless we did such a superb job that really there are no questions for you. Guys. See, Claire's laughing. She, you have a question. You're like, oh. <laughs> Claire, this is Claire. This is her daughter, Andrea. Dom oh. Dominic signed up uh, Brian, and Brian lost weight, and Brian was so resistant. He said, I am never going to tell anybody about it. <laughs> he said, I'm going to keep quiet, and I'm going to do it by myself. And I think Brian lost well over 20-something pounds, and now his mom and his sister are here. 
So it's just, it's amazing the way, the way this grows and watching people get healthy. That's nice. People that you love and care about. And I think that's what this is all about. It's, you know, I love it. I love it. So any, any questions before we end the call? I have a question. Sure. Um, hi, um, I'm, this is the, uh, I'm getting ready to start my second cleanse tomorrow. And uh, I was just wondering back to what you were mentioning about sodium, how many milligrams of sodium should we actually like try to stay with our meals? Cause I didn't even think about sodium. I was just so busy looking at calories. You stay away from salt as much as possible. Your body's not going to let you release that weight. There's a lot of great products that you can use for your food. It's called Mrs. Dash salt free. And it comes in a bazillion flavors. So it's definitely something you should look into to be able to help you when you're preparing your food and try to stay with as many, you know, like natural herbs and spices that you can kind of see what you're putting into your food yourself and not buying anything that's kind of processed because that's what we're trying to eliminate from our bodies right now. Yeah. I, I would say that the uh, recommended sodium intake is about 2,300. But for people with high blood pressure, 1,500 is recommended. I try to keep my salt level under 1,200. I just, I just try to watch. You know, I, you know if, I, if there's a, a preference, Ashley, where I can get like a can of beans that are organic that have maybe 120 grams of sodium and then there's one that's going to be 400, I just try to get more bang for my buck. I, I'd rather spend 50 cents more and get organic with less salt than, than this. I try to keep it like 1500 or less. And, you know, we're, we're drinking water, so it's important not to uh, take in the salt, not too much. You know, we need some, some salt. Um, Frida had a great point. The, all those low sodium misses dash, even, I mean, this is crazy, but when I go out for sushi, I bring my own amino spray. They, they have, what is that called, the amino? It's a little brown bottle. What is the name of it? Somebody unmute. Hold on. Liquid aminos? Liquid amino. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can get a, li a little bottle of the liquid aminos. They sell it at Walmart. It's Bragg's Aminos, and it has a fraction. I'm trying to do a screen here. It has a fraction of the salt that um, soy sauce has. Can you see my screen, Frida? Yep. Here, here yeah. it is. Bragg's Liquid Amino. It's like a natural soy sauce alternative. So, you know, it, it's not about being um, perfect. It's just watching. And I think the more you pay attention to it, the, the better you'll get, the better you'll get at it. I always watch now. I always, when we go and we, even when we look for almond butter, even when we look for like a hummus, I always choose the one that's more natural and has less salt than the other. Was that, okay. was that helpful? Yes, yeah, it was very helpful. How many days are you on the program? Uh, this is my 12th day. Awesome. And how are your results so far? Uh, I've lost, a, well, I lost about nine pounds, but then I, I noticed I gained some back. So <laughs> I, I have to I guess, watch a little bit more of what I'm eating. It's totally normal. People freak out after they do a cleanse day and they put a pound or two back on. People freak out and think they did something wrong. Remember, it's a 30-day program. Week one is big in pounds, week two is big in inches, and week three and four is a healthy combination of both. So don't, don't worry, it's gonna go up, it's gonna go down. That's why we tell people, stay off the scale. Keep it to once a week, because I was one of these crazy people that I would literally go to the bathroom in the morning and weigh like before and after, you know, my, my bowel move. <laughs> you don't wanna be crazy. You do not wanna be stepping on the scale every time you go to the bathroom focus on your healthy habits we want you guys living and and being successful for life not for 30 days that's the important stuff and women especially are so critical and so hard on themselves they're so much faster to say oh i did bad i did this wrong this didn't go right rather than saying you know what i am gosh darn, darn proud of myself for having an impeccable week and a half, and I'm down nine pounds, and I feel great. So 
we got we got to learn to do that to praise ourselves a lot more than we than we do. Any anyone else? Any questions or comments before we go? All right, Frida, want to close it out? Um, I just think everyone is. You know, I, I admire anyone who's on the call right now because it's nine o'clock. You took the time to be here. Kids are in bed or our husbands are waiting, significant others. Like, what are you doing with these people on a, a video? So kudos to you for showing up and being part of the process. And these questions, you know, Claire, do you still have one? I do. <laughs> you have that glare, Claire. Give it up. Okay. Nothing. You can't tell a lie. <laughs> Um, on, on the cleanse day, are the weight thins absolutely necessary? No, they're just a really great, great thing the company gave us as a, like a here you go, enjoy this, and make it an even better experience. <laughs> okay. They're great to have so that you don't have that moment of you're like, I'm done, I don't know what else to do, okay. you know? So I always keep them in my bath. Um, sometimes I eat them, sometimes I completely forget about them, and sometimes I'm like, oh my God, the kids just stole it. So, you know, it, it's up to you. But the non-negotiables are those snacks, and the ice and delight are definitely a delight to have on them. Okay, thank you. You're going to cleanse, and you're probably like, oh my God, I didn't get any, right? <laughs> I, I have. <laughs> oh, there you go. Use them. Save them. All right. Thank but you. thanks, everyone, for coming. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to be here tonight. With Thank you everyone for being on the call. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And okay. invite your partners and your spouse to be on. It's important that they come on and learn. And um, thank you everyone. Have an awesome night. Thank you guys. Great call. Thank you guys. You great job. Thank you thank so you. much. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Good night. Bye bye.